I'm beyond excited to share something truly special with you today. After countless requests and feedback from our amazing community, we're proud to introduce the latest gem in our creative toolkit, the Cryptogram tool. Let's dive into the features of this tool. You have the option to include an answer key directly on the puzzle page. You can choose between one, two, or three lines for the answer key, tailoring it to the puzzle's difficulty and your design needs. You're able to select between one to four puzzles per page, accommodating various puzzle links and complexities based on your target audience. This tool also gives you the ability to customize the puzzle layouts with the options to use lines or boxes, creating a look and feel that resonates with your style and challenges your audience. Let's head over to a book creator and I'll demonstrate how to use this tool. To get to the Cryptogram tool, you can either click on Activity Books, Cryptogram Puzzle Tool, or click on the Cryptogram icon. As always, you want to start by setting your trim size. I'm going to go with 8.5 by 11. You can also use a custom trim size if you want. Then for the puzzle settings, you can set the number of puzzles, the number of puzzles per page, the phrases for your cryptograms, whether or not to include an answer key. And if you include the answer key, you can have the number of hint letters to show, the number of lines for hints, and you can also switch between lines and boxes. So I'll show you what all of that does. First, I'm going to go and grab some phrases that we can use for our cryptograms. So I have some phrases in a spreadsheet that I'm just going to cut and paste into here. Let's do four puzzles to start with. And let's just do one puzzle per page, include the answer key, have one hint letter, one number of lines for the hints, and use lines for the puzzle format. And this is what it looks like. You can adjust the font size for both the title and the puzzle. So how about we go make this bigger? Up the title to say 20 and the puzzle also to 20. And now it looks like this. You can also set the font size for your answer pages. And your answer pages are gonna look like this. Where it's gonna give you the title and then the solution for the cryptogram. It's going to list them one after the other, starting with the first one and ending with the last one. So let's go back to puzzle settings. And now let's do two puzzles per page. And now you note that it's running off the page. And if you go to the answer page, you're gonna see that it's been pushed down into there. That's because the font size is too big and it doesn't all fit. So you have to go over here and reduce your font size. Do it again. And now it fits. If you didn't want to have any hint letters, you could put this at zero. And if you want to have a lot, let's say you wanted to have 10, then you have a bunch of them. So with this feature, you can target the number of letters that you show based on who your target audience is. So if you're doing kids, you might want to show more letters. Adults, you might not want to show any letters at all. You can also have no answer key, which then just looks like this. So if we did three puzzles per page, like this. And if we're doing three puzzles, we probably need to reduce our font size. And you can also do four puzzles per page. Let's go back to one and the answer key. And now I'll show you what it looks like when you have two lines. And that's what that looks like. And you can also do three lines. And that's what that looks like. And of course, if we're just doing one puzzle per page, we're going to want to have our font size to be bigger. And the last thing you can set is whether you want it to be lines or boxes. When you do boxes, it looks like this. So now you have a little box where they can write the letter in. And you can, of course, also do that with no answer key and with multiple puzzles. And once you have the puzzles the way that you want them, let's say this is that I like this and this is the way I want it, then I can click on the download PDF button and I have all of my puzzles and my answer page. And there you have it an overview into the incredible capabilities of our new cryptogram tool. 
If you have any questions about how to use this tool or suggestions for new features to add to this tool, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.